to see women who are confident and, and who are strong, it just, it just makes you want to become more, more confident and strong. I love painting people strange colors. When you're taking somebody outside of the context of color or race, you're really able to draw in on the true features. I love painting women. I feel that women are powerful, strong, and beautiful. Me being a black woman, it's always been something that has motivated me. I come from a family of just like strong black people and, and we've always ha ha had this pride about ourselves. So it was like, okay, I'm black, I'm proud, I'm happy, I, I, I love it. So let's just paint more of these images. I moved out here to go to Bastyr University to study naturopathic medicine. I'm currently a nurse too, that's my other part-time job. But then my art just got louder. It just kept getting louder and louder and I felt that I really needed to create. I'm painting a mural for KEXP radio station. It's very intimidating, especially this just being like the first, the first mural that, I, that I've ever done. I mean, and specifically on the scale, eight feet high and 130 feet long, which I'm still trying to wrap my brain around. This little lady, she's gonna be a fox. I've never painted a face this big. I was sending the picture to my sister and she was like, that is a big ass face. I was like, I know. <laughs> I wasn't really connected too much to the art scene in Chicago. I really kind of like started my art career out here in Seattle. Since I've been out here, like all of my um, art connections are kind of through, through women. Even during the panel when I was selected uh, for this commission with the city and Office of Arts and Culture and KEXP, the panelists consisted of four women and two men to have women in these positions, especially like curator roles, that's really powerful. You know, it definitely opens up the gates for more women to have exposure in their creative outlets. Since the wall was so long, I, I, I really wanted to tell a story. I really wanted to be like a full journey. Starting back like in the 70s with vinyls and then transitioning to cassettes uh, and then moving forward to like the 80s, 90s hip hop era where I have like the galaxies and the stars. And then it transitions to the more current day of our digital techie side. Mm. Yes, God. Take a moment to sit I know. When you was applying, you was like, I'm going to just go ahead and apply for this. <laughs> and then you got down to be the finalist. And then you found out that you got the grant and now look at your finished product, like... I still can't even. That's God. This is like insane. It's you, man. This is your year. You're popping. You're official. Just a quick hug. I really feel like I'm living how I want to live. Like I'm, I'm painting more. I'm, I have my studio. I'm creating. I'm branching out into the public art. I'm just so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. It's everything I could want.